stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I totally forgot but I didn't do a January owl builder punch fun. So I um, am back at it this month and I will leave the links down below for all the past months. So this month we're actually going to create the little devil up here in the corner and we're also going to create the zebra here and we're going to create the cow here. So let's get started. Okay, and now we're going to do the little devil who is super cute. He would be good um, to use for Valentine's Day or you could always use him for Halloween as like a little costume or any other little fun adventure that you um, need a little devil uh, owl for. So for that we're using real red and I have a full owl body, one of the little hearts that's on the owl punch and then I have the, um, the big circles are in black and the little circles are in white. So of course, um, with this, you can't really see the black on the black, but I have um, two big black and then two little white. And then I want to show you how I did the little piece for his tail. So here I have um, the real red cardstock that I used to punch out all the other pieces. I'm just going to slide this back in. And you'll see how I just have just a little sliver all down in here and I'm just going to punch. And so all the little pieces are going to go flying. And there they all go. So now that's how I got this little piece to use as his tail. I have a little footy on there too. So we're just going to, actually I'm going to leave the little footy on there. I was going to chop him off but I'll use him to help with my glue. So I'm going to take the little white dots and use a mini glue dot to stick them onto the black eyeballs. Oop, and not have it stick to my nail. And then I will stick those onto mini glue dots to stick them right onto my owl. So there's our little eyeballs. And then all we need to do is add our little tail, just like that, and then add our little heart. And for that, I'm going to use a fine tip glue pen. The fine tip glue pen is so handy to use for all these little intricate pieces. So I'm just going to add a little dab to the back and place that little footy right on there because we have that nice big piece to use. So you can see I have that there. And then we're going to add the little heart. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the heart, a little dot and add that to the tip of the tail. Of course that's going to need to dry a little bit. And then, um, so there you have that. And then I just took a marker and I added little dots to his, the center of his eyes. And then I also added a, like a little V or like a little um, smiley face or face. I guess the devil's probably not smiling. Um, but then I did that with, um, you can either use a real red marker or a basic black marker to get that in. But how adorable is that? You can wait to do that after he's dried. I'm going to go ahead and flip him over and let him dry so that he doesn't doesn't stick to any surface or anything. And there you have the little devil. Okay, now we're actually going to make the little zebra, which would be super fun for any sort of kids parties or animal little jungle theme or just any sort of um, fabulous little birthday card or thinking of you card because he is just so super cute. So we're actually using um, basic gray for an owl body, a full owl body, whisper white, a full owl body, two little pink hearts and I'm actually using blushing bride and then I have a black one and one quarter scallop circle punch so that's that one there and then I have a whole bunch of little black pieces that we're going to use to put the stripes on so the way I did that is I flipped over the owl punch and I just started punching like I slid in and then just started punching. See how there's that little sliver right there? And so you'll just slide it in a little bit and punch. And so you'll get like a little, a little line image and you can kind of trim it to, you know, however you need it. So like this one, I have a lot of little owl body there. So I would then just 
trim this to a nice little tip and then there you have it for your lines. So the other punch that we're going to be using is the one inch circle punch. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to slide this punch in about halfway and punch. And so with that, that's what's going to give our little like uh, muzzle or nose. And then I'm actually going to round off and trim off the ears here. So we're just going to round off the top of that head and trim off those ears. So now we have something that looks like that. And then for the little gray owl body, I'm going to trim off his little feetsies because we don't need those because this is just a little zebra head. And then we're going to add a little bit of snail to the back of our one and one quarter inch scallop and just kind of place that over top there and then add a little bit of adhesive to the center there. And I'm just going to overlap this right over that piece there. So you can see that it fits perfectly with the little gray ears popping out and then also you have um, the little muzzle down there and I actually got a little bit of adhesive so let's just rub that a little bit until it comes clean. There we go because we don't want any little stickies down there. Then I'm going to take my basic black marker and just create two little nose holes so they're kind of like a sideways teardrop is how I created them. But And then of course I'm going to do two little dots for little beady eyes up top. Those might be a little far apart, but that's okay. So then I am going to use all of these little pieces with my fine tip glue pen. And I'm just going to adhere those on as stripes. So you just need just a little bit of glue. And then I'm just going to place it down right there and we'll trim off the ends when we're all done. So I'm going to do two stripes on each side. And you can go in as far or, um, you know, like you could go in real deep or you could kind of hold back just a little bit. And then I'm going to use a couple of these little small pieces. So I'm just going to add some glue up here at the top. And I'm going to put a few of these little small black pieces as a few little hairs. And then add my little pink eye. This one needs to be a little bit smaller. And then add the two little pink hearts to make it look like a bow. We're just going to overlap these little pink hearts. So there we have him. He's got like a little mustache it looks like. And then we're just going to pick this up and trim those off. So I'm going to flip it over and trim off all those excess black pieces. And there we have our little zebra. Isn't he cute? I love it. Actually, I guess it's a little girl since she's got a little pink bow on her. So isn't she cute? Love her. Okay, so now we're going to make a little cow because she's just so cute. So we need two white owl bodies and then one and I use blushing bride so one pink one inch circle again I use blushing bride you could always use pink pirouette too um, one full black owl body four little legs and I just created just like kind of cut like little strips um, and you can kind of play with the length of them or trim them off as you um, create your legs on your cow and then this is a little white tail and for the tail I actually just um, after I punched out the white owl body then I just slid this in and see how you have that little trim all along there? That's how I created the tail. So I just punched that piece out and got this little piece here. So first we're going to snip off the little feet on the bottom of this owl body and we're going to add our little pink muzzle um, or nose or however you want to see that. And then I used a black marker to create little dots on there to do the dots of the nose and also do the dots of the eye. So I have his little eyes and his little nose on there. And then we're going to trim off the little feet of our black one. And we're actually going to use both of those little feet. One of the little feet I placed.
placed on the little owl, or I'm sorry, yes, it is an owl, but on the little cow head. So that adds a little hair and a little color to his face. And then, of course, we're going to move on to the body. So for the body of our little cow, we just take this and turn it sideways. Oh, I have to cut off those little feetsies too. So we're gonna cut off those little feet and then we'll attach our little cow there and add our four little legs. So I'm just going to take a little bit of snail adhesive and add it to the edge there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of snail adhesive down here on the bottom and we're going to attach our four little legs. So I'm going to do some of them a little shorter than the other ones so that it looks like it's in the front and in the back. Need more adhesive back there. So there we have our little owl legs. Let's see if I can get a piece of white cardstock in here so that you can see that better. There you go. Now you can't hardly see the body though, but that's okay. Now you can see those little legs. And then we're going to take the rest of that black owl body and create our dots. So I'm just going to kind of do some little curvy spots here and then I'll add adhesive to the back of that and this little spot goes down here so it's kind of like putting together a little puzzle piece and we'll add another one along the top There you have your little black and white cow. So then for the tail, I'm just going to use my fine tip glue pen and add a little bit of adhesive there on the end. Oh, a little too much adhesive. It wasn't coming out because I let it sit without the little cap on it and then I squeezed too hard. So let's see. So we're gonna add that little other owl, black owl foot and then we'll add it to our cow. So I'm gonna have my little tail up high swishing because I think that looks super cute. Isn't he adorable or she, whichever you prefer to, to make, either a little boy cow or a little girl cow. Let's make sure we put our needle back in our fine tip glue pen so it doesn't clog up again. So there we have our little owl um, made using the owl builder punch and we made our little cow. And then here's our little devil and here's our little zebra, all made out of the fabulous Owl Builder Punch. How fun is that? I love it. I will be posting uh, more pictures of all of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check those out. And of course, I'll leave links below for all of the other owl tutorials that I have done um, over the past few months, so you can check those out as well. And I will see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.